not as fast as Dibaba ran for the last 800 metres, but she doesn't need to run that fast. She needs to keep pace with these lights. The wave lights are doing a good job. Gide is doing a fantastic job to maintain pace with them. And I would love to know if she can actually see those lights and she's keeping up with them because this is fantastic to watch. And it just shows us, you know, how she is keeping pace with this record. Her form has been maintained beautifully. She's a lovely flowing runner to watch. Now it's got to her. She's in uncharted territory here. She's the ninth fastest in history. We know all about her brilliant credentials in cross country. She took a step up in class last year, taking the silver behind Sifan Hassan in the 10,000 meters. But wherever you are in the world, even though she won't hear you, give a shout out to the TV, give a roar, because this young 22 year old from Ethiopia is 400 meters away from glory. There's the bell. This is absolutely sensational. Can she keep this going? 67 on the nose. It's been metronomic. Lap after lap after lap. A little glance over her shoulder. She's got to be able to do this. It's been a fantastic effort. It's a record that has stood for 12 years. This has been a year that's been so hard for so many people. And here she is pouring her heart and soul out here. An inspiration to young women all across Ethiopia, all across Africa, all across the world. This has been a performance of such heart. Twice a global champion in cross country. Outdoors a silver medalist last year in Doha. But this would be the crowning moment so far, surely. She's got about 110 metres to go. I'm having to stand up because everybody in front of us has got their mobile phones out. Lattes and Bekhide driving for history, driving for the line. Come on, come on, Lattes and Bek, you can do this. It's going to be a new world record in Valencia. Unbelievable. 1406. She has smashed. She has smashed a record that has stood to the greatest 10,000 metre runner in history for more than 12 years. There's the embrace for Beatrice Chepkoech. And in a year that's been so, so hard for so many people, what a...